Hello, this is Solar PVD from InterSolar Summit in Turkey, in Istanbul. And now we are with our old friend, Alexander Zahario, uh, former president of uh, Greek Solar Industry Association, Helapko. But now in Turkey, as in Greece, there is not a lot of work. But uh, let's uh, speak about Greece, yeah? because it's quite interesting. We didn't speak about Greece since quite a lot of years. And as you are the person who was in charge of creating the market in Greece, and now you are in charge of collapsing, maybe. <laughs> I would like to ask you just to update us uh, what are the uh, perspectives, um, but also what is the current situation on the Greece market. Hello. Hello, Thomas. Good to see you again after uh, a while. Um, the Greek market reached a peak in 2012-2013. Uh, we had a couple of years where about one gigawatt were installed per year. Of course, the market was based on uh, high feed-in tariffs. And then the law changed, uh, the tariffs were uh, more or less cancelled or reduced uh, drastically. So after 2013, the market basically collapsed. Uh, in the two years following 2013, we had maybe 17 and then 10 megawatts installed um, per year. Now, um, Basically, the feed-in tariff uh, scheme has been cancelled and we have a net metering scheme which gives new prospects to, to the market. Um, the prices of uh, photovoltaic systems are now very attractive and we are basically at uh, grid parity or beyond grid parity at the consumption level. So there are opportunities now for consumers, either residential or commercial consumers or even industrial consumers to install their own uh, photovoltaic systems on their roofs and cancel out their, their consumption and basically save from their electricity bill. Um, this has many advantages, the main one being that there is no risk of changing prices. Basically electricity prices in the long term are generally going up, so your rate of return will improve uh, with time. And there is no risk of delay of payment because you, you save as you consume. So uh, with each electricity bill that you receive, you will uh, make some money. Um, the problem with, uh, the, uh, with the market growing with this scheme is that um, the financial situation of the country is uh, is not in a very good shape at the moment, so financing projects is, uh, is difficult. The banks don't have the liquidity to finance uh, projects, and even investors are a little bit reluctant to, to put their own money uh, in photovoltaics. So the growth is now very slow, but we expect the 10 to 15 megawatt market to grow into a 50 and 100 megawatt market in the, in the coming years. We have also new legislation coming up. It will probably be, probably be voted in the parliament uh, by June. And this will concern mostly large scale, utility scale projects, uh, which will be awarded through a tendering process. So there will be a maximum uh, price uh, at which the tenders will start. And then potential investors will make their bid, place their bids. But it will be for the public, um, uh, let's say, uh utilities or who will be the owner of the projects? It could be anyone, it could be a private investor, but um, normally these projects will be large scale, so it will be probably mostly for, for PPC, for, for PPC, but also for uh, other players in the, in the electricity market that are well established and they have the financing or access to financing in order to develop such large scale projects. So there is still some hope, yes, for the, uh, for the market in Greece. Well, uh, there is always hope. Uh, we, we've been through a couple of uh, difficult years. Uh, there were about 50,000 people employed in 2013 in the, in the PV market in Greece. Now there are maybe less than 10,000. Um, but we hope that through the net metering scheme and also with the tendering process which is coming up, uh, there will be again new jobs in, in the sector. And how to say in Greece, uh, sunny future? Iliolus to melon. Iliolus to melon. 
Iliolus Tomelon. I wish you Iliolus Tomelon in, uh, in Greece and uh, hopefully you can also be active and uh, restart uh, the Greek market as you did uh, a few years ago. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So it was Solar PVTV together with Alexander Zahario, a pioneer of solar energy, solar industry in Greece. Thank you for watching.